Yo, what is up guys, Ultraball's back with another SPL game. Uh, today we have an OU game uh, from week 4 between Zomog and Obliviate. Uh, look at the teams quick. First thing I notice is that Obliviate brings the Clown, which is really cool because this thing hasn't gotten much love yet um, in SPL. And I think the real problem with it is that it's just really hard to fit on teams. Like, it's not a bad mod, it's just hard to fit because... You know, it offers like no defensive utility and it's rocks weak and shit like that. But if it's specs, like there's no no switching really to on uh, Zomog side to specs Bicephalon, uh at all. Even even Scarf would be a bit of an issue because Gren could only switch in like once. But, okay, so we see a Keldeo on a Lando lead. Zomog's team looks pretty standard with a Mew, and the only reason I say that is because Mew's not super common anymore. But um, I mean the rest of it, like probably the AV Bulu, the 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 uh, Cartana taking advantage of the grassy terrain, uh, you know, stuff like that. The Tran, the Gren, all the, all the broken nasties. See, so double into Obliviate or switches. Obliviate switches into Lando. Uh, I'm a little surprised by that, just because I felt like Scald was free. Because even if with the Lando was Scarf, it wouldn't. The only it wouldn't stay in there for the fear of Keldeo being Scarf. So I feel like he could have just Scalded. And even if the Bulu came out, like you you have a free switch into a Mungus, and you have the potential to burn the Bulu. So I feel like you just Scald turn one. But instead, now Obliviate's in a pretty bad position because the Mew is going to be able to either Wisp or Ice Beam it. So he's probably forced into the gear. Um, but yeah, that was a, a good mid-ground play by, I guess, by um, by Zomog not going into the Bulu because he doesn't want to get burned by a potential Scald. Whereas Mew could eat up anything from the Keldeo anyway. Unless it was like Specs, but I doubt it's Specs. Uh, you don't see that very o Only BTB brings Specs Keldeo in 2018. Um... But yeah, now Zomog will probably throw off. I would just Wisp. I guess Earth Power. Were, okay, Earth Earth Power break the Shuka. That's probably better. Um, I was thinking just Wisp was a fine play. I guess. Um, no, no. I get I get that play though because you're afraid of Obliviate getting it, getting the Clown in, right? So, like Ice Beam or Wisp would let the Clown in, and uh, Earth Power would destroy. It probably wouldn't Oko because it's got better Spadef than Fizz Def, but it still would do like a, like a bunch. Uh, but now. I think if I was uh, Zomog, like this, this gear could be threatening if it has the right coverage. Uh, I don't know for sure, but when I see Shook, I assume it's some sort of setup, Magirna. Um, yeah, I'd probably go into Tran though. I think that's fine. Um, you could also Wisp this, but Wisp, if it's like a Calm Mind gear, then Wisp is a little, or like then Wisp isn't as good because Calm Mind gear could actually like run through you if it has that. Steady goes hard, Lando. Okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Lando seemed risky there on Fleur or an Ice Beam. I don't... Yeah. Um, I'm guessing that uh, Zomog was say, was thinking, like, there's no way Obliviate's going to Fleur or Ice Beam into my Heatran switch. So, I guess Lando works. That, that'd be... I'm assuming that's what he thought. Um, either way, though, yeah, Zomog can't stay in in case the Lottie is Scarf. So, he does double out and Obliviate also doubles out. So... Um, I'm assuming Obliviate's Mega Latios on this team, and the reason why he didn't stay in is because he didn't want to just take a U-turn, right? So, um, Mew came out on the potential Mega Latios because it could eat up anything that wants to go for, uh, and then Obliviate was forced out of the Lando back into the Latios on the Wisp. Uh, this is going to help if this is Mega Latios, right? This is going to help the Tran a bit because the um, the Earthquakes are only going to do maybe like 40%-ish now, I would assume. To, to the uh, Heatran assuming it's max HP because now with the burn like it's still like the, the Mega Latio still is going to switch into the Heatran but it's not as worried about like you know taking pretty much getting O-Code by the Latios uh, we see Psychic come out that didn't do shit like both these mons can't really touch each other so I don't know it, it'll we'll see who decides to like switch out first I feel like Zomog if he wants to could just like roost here and get this thing back to full and then switch out uh, I think that's a fine play uh, because you don't want to go like Gren on a potential Draco here. You also don't want to go um, hard into Heatran because Heatran probably walls you. Or, or I mean, I'm sorry, the Latios probably walls you if you're Heatran. So I don't really see a purpose of doing that. So he does go Heatran on Psychic, but yeah, like that doesn't get you much, right? Because like now you're forced out anyway. Um, that's why I'm. I probably would have just roosted there, got my Mutiful, and then worked from you know worked at worked. To something else after that we see now he goes gren on psychic that's a good play like there's no way obliviate's gonna draco there like the two plays would have been psychic or earthquake right psychic i guess i'm uh, predicting is switching to bulu or or earthquaking the trans so we see it's actually not ash i i assumed looking at this team first glance i thought for sure it'd be ash but it's not it's protean uh could actually be protean scar for sure see sludge bomb come out 
I'm not exactly sure what the Bulu. I hmm. So Bulu on the Amoongus, but like Bulu, like the Amoongus walls the Bulu. So I don't know if he was predicting some sort of double. Like maybe he did this because. Hmm. Let me think. So if the Gren wasn't choice locked, he was thinking maybe Obliviate would scout for Ice Beam, but I don't think he even needs to make that play because Ice Beam doesn't do that much, and then you, like he just regens it back anyways. Um, yeah, so maybe the Bulu is trying to catch a double. I'm not positive, but now we go into Tran, and Tran is um, looking pretty threatening because the Latios is burned and Grassy Terrain's up, so Earthquake will now do probably about 20. So that like that could switch in, but it can't do anything back. So I feel like Obliviate would probably just want to go to Keldeo, would be my guess here. Um, either way, I mean, he could go Latios too, because Latios should wall the Heatran. Uh, unless the Heatran has Taunt. Or uh, if this has Rocks, I would get up Rocks if, I, if I'm uh, if I'm Zomog. But yeah, the Obliviate's two plays here are obviously either... Um, he just... What is... What is... What? what? I'm so... I am really confused um, about that play. So now the... The Amoongus is dead. Like, what? I'm, I don't get it. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, what is this? <laughs> like, did, wait, was... Did Obliviate expect him to scout for that or something? <laughs> That's, wait, okay, they're saying it's Assault Vest? Wait, Assault Vest Amoongus with Stomping Tantrum. Yeah, okay, if, if that, yeah, why didn't he just click Stomping Tantrum first? That makes no sense. Like, there's, you never would scout for that, right? Like, I'm so confused. Why, why did Obliviate... I, I don't get it. I'm really... Con I, I don't know. I, yeah. Alright, I'm just going to leave that, that set of turns behind us because I don't really know how to commentate that. Um, like, there's no way that you're going to be scouting for Stomping Tantrum Amoongus. That's like the least common thing I've, I've never heard or even heard of that in my life. So, uh, it's actually, it's cool though, not, not being free setup fodder to Heatran, or like not giving Heatran free magmas or whatever. But at the same time, I don't think that was even, like, do you even need that on this team? Like, you have a Mega Latios and a Keldeo. I don't even know if that's necessary, but it's cool, regardless. Uh, now with the terrain off, uh, Zomog doesn't want to stay in here because Earthquake's still going to hurt. Like I said, it'll probably do around half, maybe a little less. So you don't want to stay in. Um, I think Mew is a fine mid-ground play because you don't want to get Draco to, by going to Gren. And uh, the Bulu is really low, so I feel like going into Mew is probably the safest play um, for Zomog. If, if as long as Draco into minus two, Draco doesn't kill, which I don't think it would. I I doubt it, um, but I don't know the Kelks on that for sure. So I don't want to say something that's wrong. Uh, um, that yeah, that was really funny though. <laughs> Giga draining, predicting Zomog to scout for Stomping Tantrum. That's man, that's that's something. All right, okay, protect. Get some lefties back. I like that. So it's probably protect magma. Uh, if it's rock, we don't know. If it was rocks, I think he would have went for it already. It's oh, we saw taunt, right? Yeah, so it's taunt, protect, magma, e power. I got uh, protect's gonna help versus like uh, T tars and stuff like that. So it's default. Wait, huh? So it's Megalatios that can't even like touch Heatran. I don't like that set. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure this Lottie. I was gonna I was gonna mention. I don't know if I did. I was gonna say I don't think Obliviate has hazard control. So I thought that Spike was gonna be really important, but it's actually default Megalatios, which I don't. I'm not really a fan of. Um, I guess it's like he just had a normal defog Latios and was like, well, I don't have a Mega, I'll make it Mega, which I guess makes sense because you just get more bulk and stuff. Although, like, Life Orb hits harder. But either way, I find it, like, we, I find it, like, just kind of lackluster if you have, like, Mega Latios without Earthquake seems really bad. I don't think I'd use that. Um, but yeah, Mew should still be out of range of a Draco, so I'm... Like, again, if I'm Zomog, I probably just uh, soft boil the roost here or whatever. Yeah. Is that what he does? Yep. And now he could try and pivot out. Now he knows, like, the Heatran actually, like, walls this. Like, they, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Heatran could switch in, but then they both just wall each other for the most part. So he Draco's anticipating a switch as we roost. Now that the thing's at minus two, he could go... Uh, now we could see a switch into... Okay, go Lando. I agree with that play. Lando's a better play. Um, and now... Obliviate still has to be worried about this being Scarf, so he's going to be uh, forced out. As Zomog's going to get up the throw up the rocks. As probably this is not Scarf. I'm assuming that it's Scarf Gren at this point. Uh, and now, I guess Obliviate could go back into the Latios on the Mew. Because, I mentioned this a couple times, right? They can't touch each other, but it's the safest switch that Zomog has. Um, 
because you don't want to go to Bocephalon on an Earth Power with rocks up. And, okay, that sucks. Uh, that's really lame. Um, but now he could probably go into... He can't even... Like, go Blacephalon. Yeah, go Blacephalon if you're Obliviate, for sure. That's what I would do. Yep. And throw off a Shadow Ball, because the, um... The Bulu can't even take Shadow Balls anymore, because it switched into... Uh, it switched into the Amoongus, when the Amoongus went for Sludge Bomb. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, uh... Bulu's low, and this Blacephalon could just pretty much click, uh... Shadow Ball freely. And I think... Because of that, um, Zoma could go Gren, but that's also risky because if this is like a Z-move Blacephalon, the Gren would drop in one to a Z-move. So I don't know if that's the play. Because uh, Gren... Hmm. Now, I don't really think you need Gren that much, though. I mean, Gren could U-turn on the Latios if it is Scarf. That could be nice. But we already know that... Yeah, he does go Gren. Uh, we'll check by this damage. Oh, it's sub, probably sub Z-move. So yeah, the Gren will probably go goodbye here. Um, because he's going to have to break the sub with, like, Rock Slide or something, and then he's going to get Z-moved into Oblivion. Um, yeah, and it's just going to die in one. That's how I would assume that this turn is going to go. Uh, I don't think... U-turn wouldn't break the sub because it's a four-time resist. Uh... Yeah, Obliviate's timer's going down. I don't know what he's thinking about, though. Yeah, if I was Obliviate, I'd just let loose the Z and just grab my kill. And at least Clown's putting in some work. That's nice, because, like I said, this thing hasn't really seen much success or use at all in SPL, so... Mm. Yeah, Rock Slide, like I said, it, it was Scarf Gren, and now we're going to see... Uh, why? 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 Unless it's not Z, but, like, the only thing he could go for to, like, break the sub is, like, Rock Slide, right? So, I don't get why you Fire Blast. Yeah, like I said, this was most likely Scarf Gren anyway, now that we saw that the uh, Lando was Rocks. I guess it could have also been... Oh, no, no. I guess it could also been Scarf Cart, so maybe Obliviate was thinking there's no way that this is Scarf, but... Um, I'm pretty sure it's Scarf Gren. We see Rock Slide into Lando. It did negative damage. <laughs> And now Obliviate's just going to be able to U-turn for free here. And um, Zomog's probably going to go into... I'd honestly probably just go into Heatran. Like, it's not like... Because uh, Obliviate should just U-turn here. He goes Bulu. I mean, that's fair, that's fair as the sack. Um, it was, he's just HP iced. Yeah, so now it depends on the speeds here. But the Bulu could actually be faster and get some health back. Which would be nice for Zomog. Um... But if it is defensive Lando, a lot of them tend to p carry speed for other Landos, and they will tend to be faster than uh, AV Bulu. So yeah, okay, cool. Um, so I agree. Yeah, so I think now Obliviate will go into what gives him the best. Um, maybe like Keldeo's fine. No, no, because Keldeo invites in the the Cartana, right? So I wouldn't go to that. I'd probably go Latios. I think is fine. He goes Keldeo. Now, this is going to let Cartana in, right? Yeah. And Cartana looks, uh, goes Mew. Uh, oh, because this could be Scarf Keld. Yeah, I'm bad. Okay, this could be Scarf Keld. So, you don't want to go Cartana unless your Cartana was also Scarf, which now we know it's not because the, the Gren was Scarf. So, I'm assuming now that Z-Move's probably on Cart. Um, yeah, we get to Roost up here. Roost off this damage. Yeah, I was thinking originally, right, that because uh, Grassy Terrain's up, you could go into Scarf, Cartana, click Leaf Blade, but it's not Scarf, so you don't, yeah. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So now we go into Greninja on the the dodge, expertly dodged, uh, and we could just U-turn out for free, and Obliviate's probably going to go into Lando. Um, yeah, if I was Obliviate, I'd go Lando probably, but you, you don't want to, um, it could be Helmet, or he goes Keldeo on u-turn that works as well and now we just go back into mew and it's like a bit of a cycle here they're not really getting themselves anywhere um because mew walls mew walls everything outside of like blacephalon i'm pretty sure but obliviate can't really throw that thing into to any sort of attack so <laughs> he's in a pretty bad spot um I, and I, once i'm probably just wisping if i'm the mew if i'm zomog because there's no way he risks blacephalon on an earth power so i would just wisp Yep, yep. 
and now you just after the wisp now you just spam soft boiled and obliviate doesn't really have a good play uh it goes back into latios um you could go hard gren on the predicted uh roost that's what he does i would have i would draco here but okay um because like latios still still uh roosts up on the tran and on the and on the mew so all right so we u-turns getting a little bit momentum now the trans coming back in but then we just go back into into lottie right yeah i don't see this isn't really getting anywhere but i feel like when cart gets in because it's probably z move cart that looks like it could put in some sort of work with the lottie somewhat low and burned especially if it has a dark move to hit it on the switch yeah zomog here u-turns I'm, I'm assuming you go tran right like it goes lando uh yeah lando's a better lando's I don't know though. Obliviate probably like he doesn't. I guess because <clears throat> now Obliviate doesn't know this Lando set. All he knows is rocks. He hasn't seen anything else. So you don't want to go into Latios on a U-turn because that would be really shitty. Because if you go Latios on a U-turn, he just goes back Gren, and then you took rocks and a U-turn, and you you can't switch into anything anymore. So you don't want to go hard La uh, Latios. So I guess the other play is going into Lando. So if I was Zomog, like, I don't know what this Lando set is. It's it. It's probably uh, yeah. Okay. Wait, why did it wait? What the fuck? Why did it live? What what was that play? What were those plays? Oh, uh, Obliviate predicted U-turn. I I don't I don't know. I I get it, but he might not even have U-turn. So you're predicting something, but you don't know for sure if he even has it. You know what I mean? Um, and he gets earthquake for seventy-two percent, and now. We'll probably just see another earthquake come out yeah and obliviate is confirmed like def okay so it is z move lando Concre that's gonna do like 30 27 <laughs> but he's still chimp chipping the lando which is nice um i feel like yeah i mean lando can't check cart anymore which is something and now obliviate's probably gonna go into the the keld i guess or back into placephalon because uh, Blacephalon, if it has like a move to Oko defend Lando, he goes Latios. Um, I guess Zomog probably goes back into Mew, or he just Draco sacks it, and now now he goes into he could go into Kartana actually. Now that this is at minus two, if he wanted, because I'm pretty sure the most he could do is like fifty percent to that. Yeah, I'd probably go Kart. Because I feel like going Gren, that's it's like last switch into rocks, and it's not like doing that much for you. You probably you could keep the you could keep the uh, Gren for potential like uh, revenge killing on the Latios or the Blacephalon later on when you need it. So now um, I think you just like I don't know if he has like knockoff or something. You go for it. So it was Z Lando, but it's weird because it didn't do any damage. So it could be like defensive Z. Um, but yeah, now Obliviate. Sack Lando, probably the play. Go Keld. That'd be my play. Sack Lando, go Keld. Uh, so I don't really think... Okay, Sack Magirna on what? On knockoff. Yeah. So, the, but this isn't Scarf. Was it like Bandit or some shit? Because it's not Scarf and it's not... Um. Wait, what the... What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's, I think it's game over. Wait, what the hell? All right, well, I think Cart wins, right? Because it SDs here, and then, what, is it game over? Because, like, he played it like it was... I, I, I don't even know. But, like, it wasn't Scarf, right? Because it's 100% Scarf Greninja, so I don't get why you went into this. Why don't you just go back into Latios? Wasn't that the play anyway? Or going into Keld? Because Landers would die to any... Like, even if it, it wasn't Choice Scarf, so it was, like, Choice Bandit, it would have died. And if it was, um... And now I think it kills everything with, like, Knock, Knock, Leaf Blade, right? So, yeah. I don't get why Lando was the play anyway, though. Alright, unless it could live a, a knockoff, but... Could it live a knockoff from 20%? I don't know. I don't think it would. So, this is just gonna get, um... Knocked, probably. Does not kill this? Yeah, it does. And now that he's got the... Everything was gonna die in one hit anyway. So, that's a good game. Zomog whipping out the heat sets... This was definitely not what I expected. It's a cool team, though, because that preview, right, looking at it, you think, like, oh, it's Scarf Cartana. It's, or you think, oh, it's Scarf Lando, Z-Move Cartana, Specs Greninja. Like, because like, this sort of team is, like,
pretty common. But it's cool because there's like a little spin on all the sets, and it made it made it really really hard. Obliviate like was I feel like fooled by a lot of the sets, especially well this one I think anyone be would be fooled by. So um, props to Zomog for some pretty cool prepping and team building. I like it a lot. So yeah, uh, congrats to you. I think Zomog was he like three one now I think um, or two two something something like that. But yeah, all right, good game to both players. Really interesting. <laughs> I, I actually like it. Adrenaline Orb is cool on cart if they don't. Like, if they don't have Zapdos, but, like, if they have Zapdos, they always just go into that anyway, so... Then your Adrenaline Orb's not doing anything, but if, if they're switching, like, Lando, it's actually really cool. And it could be... It's, like, a better Timid Kartana. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so we see here, at this point of the week, it was 2-1 uh, Tyrants over the Scooters after the win by Zomog. Um, I don't really care who ended up winning the week at this point, so if you guys want to see that just go on smogon and you can you know you could find it out it's not too difficult uh but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like comment subscribe and until next time ultra balls out peace